אנחנו ננצח. Breaking news, kera ng Israel at Hamas nasa ikalabing anim na araw na kaya Hamas na ang umaatake rin sa Hamas base sa balitang kumakalat inilabas na ng Israel ang ebidensya ebidensyang Hamas sa Hamas ang nagpapatayan din sa Gaza ayon sa Israel hawak na nila ang audio ng pag-uusap pag-uusap ng plano sa Israel na bobombahin sila ng Hamas pero pinasabog sa Palestine kumpirmadong galing sa Hamas I will show you. The trajectory analysis from the barrage of rockets confirms that the rockets were fired close proximity to the hospital. In addition, there are two independent videos which show the failure of the rocket launch and the continu continuation of rocket flight towards the ground. within the Gaza Strip, falling in the hospital compound. Third, we have intelligence, some that, will, some that will be shared here, of communication between terrorists talking about rockets misfiring. The terrorists realize that the rocket has misfired and made specific reference to the Al-Hali Al-Madani hospital. I would want to let everybody hear the conversation and I will do uh, the translation in English. بقول لك اللي الاول مره بنشوف الصاروخ زي هيك والشظايا هادي فبقول لك تبع الجهاد الصواريخ الجهاد اللي سمعنا هاي ايه طب هم بقول لك عملوا الجهاد اللي سمعنا ده من علمنا هذا شكل من علمنا اه مين اللي بيقول هيك؟ بيحكوا ان الشظايا تبعت الصاروخ ان الشظايا محلين مش زي شظايا ايش بتقول؟ سبحان الله من علمنا ما لقاش غيرين بجد خيرين ما عاد يا دول من قريب من المقدر الورق يتفلت حط حط فيه ايش انت؟ بتلاقيهم طالعين من المقبره الورق المستشفى المعمداني دي اللي هو شفته ونزل عندي وفي مقبره وراه؟ ها المعمداني ولد عند الساحه في الصبح هي وين لما تدخل على الساحه؟ اول ما تدخل على الساحه تدخلش على البلد عيدك اليمين في مستشفى المعمداني اه عرفتها I'm telling you this is the first time that we see missile like this falling And so that's why we are saying it belongs to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. What? They are saying it belongs to the PGI. It's from us? It looks like it. Who says this? They are saying the, the sharp nail from the missile is local sharp nail and not like Israeli sharp nail. What are you saying, Abu Amar? But God bless, it couldn't have been found another place, not the hospital, to explode? Never mind, yes, Abu Raji. They shot it from the cemetery behind the hospital. What? They shot it coming from the cemetery behind the Mahadani hospital. And it misfired and fell on them. There's a cemetery behind it? Yes, Al Mahadani is exactly in the compound. Where is it when, the, in, when, when you enter the compound? You first enter the compound and don't go towards the city. It's on the right side of El Maadani Hospital. Yes, I know it. We have cross-checked, intercept with other intelligence sources to confirm this accuracy. It is common for rockets that are fired to Israel to land short and fall inside Gaza. These rockets fall short of Israel and have caused Palestinian casualties. During this war, We have counted approximately 450 rockets that misfired and fell inside Gaza. Palestinian civilians pay the price. I want to show you the footage. These are failed launches during this war, until now. These are all failed launches that fell inside the Gaza Strip and some of them, of course, created casualties among the Palestinians themselves. And one of them was in the hospital Al-Hali Al-Mahamadani. We are also sharing this information with our partners, first and foremost the United States. We want the maximum transparency because we take 
any incident involving civilians very, very seriously. Unfortunately, many in the media immediately reported the statements coming out from Hamas controlled in Gaza which blamed Israel. Instead of waiting for the examination of a credible information from the IDF, some media outlets ran with Hamas lies. Some of those headlines are still up, have not been corrected. I understand the desire to break news, but I hope you will all agree the accuracy and credible information comes before speed. The IDF acts in accordance with the international law. In conclusion, this incident shows how allegations in this case, false and baseless allegations made by terrorists against Israel can spread and flame tension in the region. The IDF has concluded an after-action review and confirmed that the Islamic Jihad was responsible for the strike at the Al-Hali Al-Ma'adani Hospital in Gaza. Pero ayon sa mga Palestinian, fake news ang ebidensyang inilatag ng Israel sa Palestine. Dahil lang totoo ay may hawak din silang ebidensya sa Israel na nagutos na bombahin ng Palestine. The Israeli, the Israeli Prime Minister today said, and I quote, the intelligence from multiple sources said that it's the Islamic Jihad is responsible for the failed rocket launch. Your, your response? He is a liar. His uh, spokesperson and digital spokesperson tweeted that Israel did the hit thinking that there is around this hospital a base for Hamas and then he deleted that tweet. We have a copy of that tweet and Talal can share with you that tweet. Now they change the story to try to blame the Palestinians. It is a lie and they, the Israeli spokesperson of the army, about a week ago made a statement in which he said evacuate the hospitals the hospitals are target and in fact they hit one hospital a week ago so their their intentions is evacuate or hospitals will be hit and they are responsible for that crime and they cannot fabricate stories to deal with it samantala personal namang binisita si prime minister netanyahu ng mga bagong kaalyado ng bansa kunsan sisiguraduhin nilang mananalo ang Israel ng Cyprus at Italia. Prime Minister Maloney, Georgia, thank you for coming here. Thanks for thank standing you. with Israel. We always say there's one thing better than standing with Israel, it's standing in Israel. <laughs> so we welcome you for coming here and this is a time, our darkest hour. We have to defeat this barbarism. Uh, this is a battle between the forces of civilization and really monstrous barbarians who murdered, mutilated, raped, beheaded, burnt, innocent people, babies, grandmothers. Uh, this is a test, uh, a test of civilization, and we will win. Uh, and we expect all the countries that lined up to fight ISIS to line up uh, and fight Hamas, because Hamas is the new ISIS. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Prime Minister. I'm happy of being here. I, I thought it was very important to come personally to bring the solidarity of the Italian government, the Italian people, and to tell you that we saw images that were incredible about what happened two weeks ago that showed something more than simply, well, a war. They showed somebody who wants, who wants to cancel uh, Jewish people from, from this region. And it is up on up to anti-Semitism and that's something that we have to fight yesterday and today so we defend the right of Israel of existing of defending itself security for its people and uh, uh, we absolutely understand that terrorism has to be fought and we believe and we think that you are able to do that in the best way I mean for we are different from those Nikos, my friend, you are coming at a time which I can say is our darkest hour. It's a, a battle of civilization against barbarism. What we saw in Gaza along our communities is beyond description. It's savagery that is the worst uh, 
that we've seen against Jewish people since the Holocaust. They murder children in front of their parents and parents in front of their children, burn people alive, decapitated people, raped and murdered women. Babies were hiding in the attic. They killed them. Today we discovered a grandmother in a secret attic holding her grandchild. They murdered both of them. And this is savagery on a scale that is uh, unimaginable. And our battle against Hamas is the battle of civilization against barbarism. Hamas, I said in the UN 10 years ago, almost a decade ago, Hamas is ISIS. People didn't believe me. Now they know it's actually worse than ISIS, as President Biden has said. And uh, Chancellor Schultz said that uh, Hamas are the new Nazis. The world united to fight the Nazis. The civilized world united to fight Hamas or ISIS, and now the civilized world should stand with us as we defeat ISIS. This is our goal, and I thank you for your strong support from the start. Be sure, no? and we'll continue. Thank you. Thank you. Ngayon, ikaw, bilang Pilipino, ano ang masasabi mo at reaksyon sa balitang ito? Mag-iwang ka ng komento sa ibaba at atin pong babasahin isa-isa.